This game is called Blackout Times. In this game, you will practice breaking numbers apart into their factors. Win by being the first player to blackout your game board. While playing this game, you will use your knowledge of factorization and decomposition of numbers. First, you will need to set up the game board in pieces. Cut out the Blackout Times game boards. Each player chooses a game board and a handful of chips. Place the dice in the center of the playing surface. The oldest player goes first. On your turn, roll both dice. Create a two-digit number from what you rolled. If you roll a 1 and a 2, you can create either 12 or 21. This is your blackout number. List the factors of this number. For example, when I roll a 12, the factors of 12 are 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. This is because 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, and 3 times 4 equals 12. Or you can create a factor tree. Choose factors that you want to use, say the factors out loud, and then cover them on your game board using the chips. As long as you can cover one number on the game board, you can play. If you roll a number with a prime factor that is not on the board, place one marker in the bonus box to the right of the game board. Once you cover one set of factors of your number, your turn is over. Play continues to the left. The first person to black out or cover up all of the numbers on their game board wins the game. But other players can use the bonus chips to cover their board. You can seal the win if you have more bonus markers than you need to cover your board. There are variations to the game. One variation is cover all. In this variation, you can cover as many factors of a number as you can on each turn. You must be able to cover at least one factor to play. If I roll a 6 and a 1 and create the number 16, the factors are 2, 4, 4, and 8. Another variation is double trouble. If you roll doubles, you have the choice of covering the factors on your own game board or removing the factors from another player's game board. So if you roll doubles, roll again until you don't roll doubles and cover up the factors on your board or remove the factors of the number from an opponent's game board. While playing this game, ask what number should you choose after you roll the dice? How many factors does your number have? How easy is it to roll a prime number? Explain. After playing the game, you can ask Examine your game board. Why do you think these numbers were chosen to be on the board? Which number appears most on the board? Why do you think it appears so often? Should the game board include the numbers 0 and 1? What strategy did you develop as you played the game?